So this is a water buoy for a boat, but it is the exact same thing as a heavy water bag that trainers use in gyms for fighting. You just got it on Amazon for about 70 bucks. They got these hose fitting. You can buy that at any hardware store. And these I got from Harbor Freight. They're D-rings. So we're gonna be using the large D-ring and a trailer chain. They have them both there for fairly cheap. You can also use the smaller D-rings, have a pretty high low capacity, but they're not gonna fit these chains. Though a skinnier chain would do just as well, I would imagine. The hole's pretty big, so you can use a varied length. This will work quite well. We made a DIY UFC gym during the quarantine. We have a video on this as well, if you're wondering what we're attaching to. We're not attaching it to the wall of your house. I think that's a terrible idea to attach something this heavy to a joist that's gonna be constantly being pulled and flexed. So that's why we have this little like gym cage that we added a bunch of other things to. Works pretty well. That's just there on an, an aluminum tube beam. Now to fill it up. This is a hose fitting that we got with it and it's also in the Amazon store, but you can buy this at any hardware store and it's right there. Just get a standard flat tip screwdriver and it unscrews the plug, which you will immediately need once you take this out. And it takes a fair amount of water. It looks deceivingly small, but it holds quite a bit of water and it is really heavy. There's a heavy bag right next to it over there. And it is just, it's, this thing is heavier than the heavy bag. like maybe a lot heavier, about 120-ish pounds, maybe more. This is me getting a few test shots, warming up at it. I'm not warmed up yet, just in case you're wondering. But I like the way it feels. It is, it absorbs your power a lot. I'm trying to lay into it here. And I tell you, it doesn't move. For as much power as I'm putting into it, if I hit the other bag on the other side, it would be flying against the wall and you have to have an anchor for that. You don't have to have an anchor for this one, and it's fairly compact. It takes hits pretty well, and it feels like an actual body. It really does, it's it's different. I think it does a fair equivalent to a 200 pound heavy bag, just without the exact rock hard hit that you would get. It's good to have a bag that heavy to develop stone hands, but really if you hit this thing without gloves, it's a different kind of pain than if you hit like a dull heavy bag. It's not a dull pain, it's like a loud stinging pain. It's not something that you're used to. Like I have pretty hard hands, they're pretty dead, to blunt objects when I hit this though it hurts like without gloves you can try it it's a different thing to even kick it too stings your feet it stings it's odd it's like you hit the heaviest person and then your punch just kind of like ricocheted off the body to lay into it and to feel it to squish and but it absorbs stuff I mean it's meant to be a big giant boat buoy that means it gets squished against boats and walls so you're not gonna be able to pop this you're not gonna accidentally pop this thing it's gonna it's gonna do quite well and so this is my little warm-up session i'll come and try it again a little bit i'm gonna take a break and let my son lay into it and see what he can do and if you notice for me this was a little low for my height that's because it's made for him so this is the height that he wanted it at and here he goes to town on it let's see what he does So it's definitely something that you're not used to at the beginning because you just hit like either a textile filled or a sand filled or a rubber mulch filled heavy bag. So it's different. I mean, you see more and more of the heavyweight champions, especially like Canelo, you always see him hitting a water bag. It's like his thing. And I was wondering, you know, you see somebody who allegedly hits so freaking hard and he's only hitting the water bag and when he's hitting it, I mean, he's barely even moving it. And obviously it's a lot bigger like the, the water bag he uses is twice this big but now i know why he doesn't barely move it because this thing absorbs a lot of the impact that would send a regular textile bag like flying around and this one obviously we're moving it now that's because i'm laying into it and i'm giving it my all and i'm warmed up a little bit now now i can actually throw a little bit more power and a little bit faster and uh it's still just eating my power i'm not the strongest person in the world and I'm a little old and out of shape, but I can still lay into, I can still do some damage. 
And I'll tell you, this thing's just eating it. Like a bag of chips. Just taking everything. We're throwing at it. My son also can hit pretty hard for his age. And yeah, I'm just sitting there kind of testing it. Not even the same thing. And obviously that bag's a little too low for me also. It's like I had to bend down. Because it's, it's hit for my son. My son kind of just used it to kick. But, you know, kicking that thing, nothing. And then kicking that, that hurts. Check out the rest of the stuff we make. We make cool stuff all the time, including an entire UFC gym that we're gonna debut here in this playlist. Wait for it and subscribe. Check us out.